Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Tasting Britain's Low Star Takeaways. I'm in the Lake District with my family. And today we're at a place called Hutton in the Forest. When we're finished having a walk around, we're going to make our way to Penrith, where I found a one-star Chinese takeaway. Yes, it's another Chinese, guys. But it's the only one-star one I could find in the area. So, I'm going to order a couple of things off the menu. We'll give it a try and I'll give it my honest review as usual, man, dingoes. Oh, oh, you better believe I will. Okay then, guys, I will bring you back soon when I'm at Penrith. Okay folks, I've just parked up round the corner from the Chinese takeaway. It's called Courtyard Chinese Restaurant, but they've also got the takeaway menu, so that's great. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna order a couple of things. Once I've got the food, the planned dingo is mandingoes, I'm gonna take the scrandingo back to the holiday lodge, and then I'm gonna get stuck right in. Oh yes, you know what I'm talking about. It's been given a one star from the local council you know, like on the food hygiene rating, but I've been reading some of the reviews on Google and everyone is speaking highly about the food. So that's a good thing. It just goes to show you that it might have a low score on the food hygiene rating, but the food can actually be nice. You know, there could be a number of reasons why it's getting the low score, which has got nothing to do with the food at all. And I'm just the man dingo to find these places and let you guys know that the food is lovely jubbly. Anyway, guys, let's go and get some food ordered. You know it makes total sense. Ah. Uh. Right, folks. So I'm just making my way to the Chinese takeaway. When I get there, I'm going to point the camera down because obviously I don't want them to know that I'm recording. You know the score, guys. Right, it's left down this alleyway. Right, I'm gonna put the camera down now. Tell you 
They are. Ah, oh, cheers. Uh, can we ignore it too? We have those. Can I have a chicken chow mein uh, with fried rice? And can have a, a beef with flapping sauce. Please. And that's it. Thank you. Hey, I'll come back soon. Yeah, it's for Chris. How much is that? Yeah, no problem. Alright, thank you very much. Cheers. We'll back to him. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Well then my fan sexuals. It didn't look too bad at all in there. It wasn't the best looking Chinese to be honest. Probably could do with a good lick of paint. Just cut through here. Yeah, looked like it hadn't been done out for about 20 years, but you know, it wasn't dirty or anything like that. And there was a few people in already eating. I could hear upstairs, a lot of people chatting away. So it sounded like there was a few customers. So that's a good thing, you know? If they've got customers, if the locals are going in, it must be okay. She says it'll be ready in about 15 or 20 minutes. So I've just come for a little walk around, pass a bit of time away. <clears throat> Talk to you legends. And um, which way should I go? Go this way. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm getting hung. I'm getting hungry now, guys. I've ordered a chicken chow mein with some fried lice, um, beef and black bean sauce. That's all for me, Mrs. Blot and Little Blot. Them don't want any one star food, but I'm not bothered. I'll eat anything. You know where I'm talking about mandingos. Okay then. I will see you legends. And I've got the food and I'm back in the car and making my way back to our holiday lodge. Right. Yes. Right guys, I've got the scrand dingo. Let's make our way back to the old lodge dingo and do some munching glad back. You know what I'm talking about. have a quick look at this food before I serve it up and start eating it. Fried lysicles looks just like the typical fried lice you'd get from any Chinese.
for this looks like the beef and black bean ski sauce oh that smells absolutely beautiful look at that mandingos dying to get stuck into that and last but not least the chikoni chow mein ski and now that looks nice as well and smells delicious okay the mandingos i'll bring you back in one minute when i'm going to get stuck in nice right guys time to get stuck into this lovely food from the courthouse chinese restaurant and takeaway in penrith looks absolutely delicious i must say here we go Bit of beef on there with fried lice. Mmm, that's absolutely beautiful. The fried lice is nice and fluffy. Let's go with beef there on its own. Bit of beef curtain, air matron. Lovely, tasty, nice and soft. Mmm. That beef is just melting in my mouth. It's got peppers and other bits and pieces in, onions. Mmm. Do you know what? That may be the best beef and black bean sauce this mandingo's ever had. You know what I'm talking about mandingo's. Mm. Well, let's try some chicken chow mein. Mmm. Really, really nice. Mmm. <laughs> That's as good as any Chinese I've ever had. Oh. Well, I must see you. When I was reading the reviews, and there was quite a lot of people were saying, take no notice of this food hygiene rating thing, because the food is really, really nice in that Chinese takeaway or restaurant. And like I said, when I went there, it was quite busy. There was a lot of people eating there. And when I went to collect this, there was about another three people came in also collecting food. Absolutely fantastic. The chow mein is really, really nice. But the beef, the beef and black bean sauce. Oh, a 10 out of 10 for the beef and black bean sauce, guys. Once again, I'm really sorry for eating like a pig. But I'm not here to be all posh and be all prim and proper. I'm here to get stuck in and give you guys an honest review. Mm. When you go to Chinese takeaway and you open the boxes, you know pretty much straight away, don't you, if it's going to be nice or if it's going to be shite. And I knew that was going to be nice. As soon as I looked at it. <laughs> My two dogs are down here. Messi's on the seat there. Dennis the Pug's down there. 
I don't think they're going to get any of this off me, guys. Mm. The fry light has got loads of egg in, which is lovely jubbly. Mm. Absolutely tremendous. The courthouse Chinese in Penrith. If you're ever in the Lake District or in, or you're in Cumbria and you want to treat yourself to a nice Chinese, get yourself to this place. Because it's absolutely fantastic. Well guys, I've got nothing else to say, apart from it's lovely. So I'm now going to give it a, a mark out of 10. I'm going to give this a big fat 9 out of 10 dingo, man dingoes. I'm not going to give it a 10, because something has to be out of this world to give it a 10. But considering it's only got a 1 on the food hygiene rating, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 9 out of 10 guys. Lovely, jubbling. Certainly ding dang do for this man dingo. Okay then, I'm gonna finish the rest of this off. And when I bring you legends back, I'm gonna answer a little question. Then I'm gonna do a world famous waski with you. Oh yes, you better believe I am man dingoes. And I'm gonna go and try and get Mrs. Blot to join in on the with you. See you in a couple of minutes guys. You know it makes total sense. Rice. Cheers, man, dingoes. Just enjoying a nice few bottles of Corona in the hot tub. I'm just waiting for Mrs. Blot to come and join us. While I'm waiting for her, might as well answer a little question. Why not? And the question is, when am I gonna start and get back to some serious stealth camping? You know, just basic, raw stealth camping. You know the ones Manding goes, like when I camp on the smallest roundabout or behind a building, you know, like the Harvester restaurant or right next to a police station in the bushes or the McDonald's one, you know, them kind of just raw stealth camps, nothing special about them, just getting in there and hiding and you're in a place where you're so close to people walking past, all the traffic's buzzing past, you know what I mean, just nothing fancy nothing special the kind of videos that probably brought you to this channel in the first place well the answer to that question guys is very soon I am gonna get back into some serious stealth camping very soon guys I've just been trying to mix things up a little bit you know I don't want the channel to go stale I'm doing like stealth camping all different types when I've got little Mick with us Obviously them stealth camps, they can't be like dodgy ones, you know, I can't expect Mick to go running over the road and jumping over fences like what I can do, plus sometimes when I'm stealth camping by myself there might only be a tiny little spot, only big enough for me, and when I'm with, when I'm with Mick I need a, a nice decent spot so there's room for the two of us to sit and cook and I've also been doing videos where I'm, I'm wild camping in the Lake District with the two Chris's or young Chris, depends if the older Chris comes out. He has been coming out quite a bit lately, which is fantastic because it's it's always a good laugh when Cowboy Chris, you know, joins the block crew. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to just do things, keep things fresh, different videos for you guys to enjoy, just so it's not the same thing every week. 
but there is some serious stealth camping coming very soon guys I've got some really good ideas the weather's getting nicer the weather's getting warmer so that helps you know I've got some good ideas put it that way guys you're going to enjoy some of the camps I'm coming up with soon so that's the answer to that question you absolute legends some serious stealth camping coming very soon mandingos another little quick question Mrs Blot just reminded me on to answer this it's just a quick one there's a lot of people asking about me son pardon me about me son little Blot about why is he so camera shy you know because he doesn't like to be on camera he doesn't like his photo taken um, he doesn't like to be on any photos in the in the Facebook group the Blot Outdoor Show fans group if you haven't joined that guys by the way get on it it's not run by me it's run by an absolute legend by the name of Craig Jones and his lovely wife Cheryl who's also called Cheryl she's called Jones as well <laughs> only joking guys I'm not, I'm not that stupid yeah Craig and Cheryl lovely couple them run the group and they do an absolutely fantastic job so join that group on Facebook guys Blood Outdoor Show fans group right back to the question little blot yeah he's very camera shy he doesn't like to be on any photos or videos if we do manage him to get on one we've been really privileged and we've been really lucky because he normally just puts his hood up and he hides I know I've mentioned this before in previous videos me soon he's autistic just very you know he's, he's on the autistic spectrum he's only got very slightly he still goes to normal school and he's the best little boy in the world if you watch him pressing I love you because I know he watches the videos sometimes yeah he's very shy and he doesn't like to be on the videos he's just that's just the way he is so yeah that's answer our question guys um anything else I think that's about it manding goes I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna enjoy this drink and when I bring you back I'll be back in the lodge and me and Mrs. Blot are going to do a world famous Waski with you. Oh yes! You better believe your man goes. See you in a minute. Oh yeah! You know what time it is man goes. Waski time. And this is what we've got this time. Clubhouse Signature Blend Blended Scotch Waski. And joining me is the glamorous Mrs. Blot, oh, oh yes, right. you know it makes sense. I've got no famous cup dingo this week, guys. So this plastic baker, I'll have to do. Is the same the do doing? It's got a nice little bottle, not your typical waski bottle. Let's get that poured in. This little shitty baker. There you go. Right, Mrs. Blot, I'm going to have the first sniff. Let's get the old schneckeroni in it. I'm getting some hints of peat smoke. Just very mild. And I'm also getting some light spices. Also just, you know, very light, very mild. You get your big nostrils in there, Mrs. Young. Big, you too. <laughs> It's not a strong smell, is it? No, mild. Very mild. You get a little bit smoke and like a little bit peat. Not fruity. A little bit fruitiness. Resins. Oh, well. That's enough for the sniffing mandingos. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Well, yeah, you said you could smell the fruit. I'm getting like a rich fruitiness in the taste there. I don't know about raisins, but I'm no expert, but I am getting some sort of fruit. I can't quite pinpoint where it is, but there is a definite fruitiness there. Mandingos. Plums. Oh, matron. <laughs> Go on. Dennis, why are you good looking? You've got a taste of that still as your breath. Thank <laughs> you.
What are you getting, Mrs. Blot? Well, that's nice, sir. Are you getting a bit of fruitiness in the taste as well, or? Oh, you're some lyrical genius. Fruit. Fruit. So you're getting fruit in the smell and you're getting fruit in the taste. Well, nothing wrong with that. Now I'm getting like a sweet, spicy thing going on, guys. There's not much left. I'll leave the last tiny bit for you. Yeah, like a nice fresh. Let's go a nice fresh taste with some sweet spices. A little bit fruit in a stirrit. It's spicy, isn't it? Yeah, not not too bad though. It's not spicy to the point where it's taking your breath away. I wish it would take Dennis's breath away. <laughs> but um, yeah, mild in the smell. Hasn't really got a strong taste. Hasn't Sweet got, spices. Hasn't got like a burning feeling. No, it's, it's not burning. burning. It's quite smooth. Not rough, as little Mick would say. Rough and smooth. Just smooth. Last drag. Just a bit like I'll me. get that. Smooth. Oh, you're some smooth criminal. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to give that Clubhouse Signature Blend, Blended Scotch Whiskey. I'm going to give it a decent 7 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes, you better believe I am. What you're going to give me, says Blot? What's Eight. your score? Yes, Eight. you like that one? Mm. Yeah. Nice. Well, to be honest, I've never heard of this one before, and I was thinking I might give it a low five or even a six. So a seven and an eight, eight. Mm -hmm. is a pretty good score. That'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. Right. Two lice, Shakur. That's the end of this week's Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious Waski tasting. Well, guys, that's the end of this week's video. Big video. <laughs> All together. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back out on a wild camp with the two Chris's on Saturday. It's Thursday now. We're travelling home tomorrow. And then I'm going for a wild camp on Saturday. So make sure you tune in on Sunday for my next video. Yeah, I'm out with the two Chris's. So that should be a good laugh. See you on Sunday, guys. You know it makes total sense. Total sense. <laughs> See you later. Alligator. <laughs> Oh, air mason. I'm gonna press long, I'm gonna press record now. He's joking, so he's not planting. I'm gonna press, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'll press record, you know. <laughs> Start again. Okay folks, I've just parked up round the corner from the Chinese takeaway. It's called car It's called car. Beep! Start again! It's called car. <laughs> okay folks. Great. Start. Beep! <laughs> Take four. Is this take four? Fuck's sake. Last time. Ah, cheers, Mandingos. Just enjoying a nice few bottles of Corona. Ah, I'm waiting for Mrs. Blot to join me in here. <laughs> oh, this is fucking shite. Start again. <laughs> Cheers, Mandingos. Just enjoying a nice few bottles of Corona. Ah, waiting for Mrs. Blot to come and join me in the hot tub. While I'm sitting waiting, I might as well answer a little question. And the question is, guys. <laughs> the question is. Ah, fuck off. Last time, fucking shit.